Okay, I'm making one more video for today. Praise God, Jesus is Lord. With this, I'm done for today, at least. Well, maybe God will... I don't know. Maybe I'm not done. So, I'm going to make... This video is about the events about to take place. So, after the gospel is out to every nation, language, tribe, and people... The Bible says the next thing to happen is Babylon the Great falls, and it's the hour. Babylon the Great falls in one hour, and it's the hour of God's judgment. So you can read about that, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6, 7, 8, and uh, also Revelation chapter 18. Specifically focusing on verse 10. But, now that the gospel is out, before Babylon the Great falls, everybody will be saying peace and safety. So there's a time period. See, the whole September thing, 23rd, 2015, that was just getting a lot of publicity for that blood moon and the signs in the sky and to get God's word out there and to get everybody thinking about these end days. That whole CERN thing, I never, I knew nothing was going to come of that, but it was... And, and Jade Helm and all these things going on, that all came together all in September for one reason, and that was that was God's publicity stunt to tell everybody all over the world, guess what, time's running out, these are the end of days. And then when nothing happened, according to them, when they didn't see any explosions, the world didn't vaporize, no comet came out of the sky and destroyed anything, then they all boohooed it, and now it's going to be a time of peace and safety. And mark my words, about the time when everybody's completely forgotten about the blood moon. And it's going to look like, wow, ISIS is gone. Boko Haram is gone. Looks like we're best friends with Putin and China now. Shoot, the leader of China just came to visit. The Pope just came to visit. Putin's probably next. But you know who his time is running out in office. Just saying. Just saying. So what happens next? Babylon the Great Falls, that's the hour of his judgment. Let me read you a clear description of, the, of what happens when Babylon the Great Falls. It is the sixth seal of Revelation chapter 12. And I'm going to read it. When he opened the sixth seal, lo, there was an earthquake. So, when Babylon the Great falls, it starts with an earthquake. The sun became black like sackcloth made of goat hair, and the moon became as blood. That has not happened yet, even though I proclaim that this summer... The sky was turned to darkness over California, Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. And then at the end of the summer, boom, the 28th of September 2015 with a blood moon. You could say that the sky was turned to darkness and the moon to blood. All over California, all over Oregon, all over Washington, and all over Idaho. Not saying it's an actual fulfillment of that verse, but it it's one of those things where... That should be enough to get your attention. How's that? All right, so back to the sixth seal. This is what's going to happen when Babylon the Great falls. One, there's an earthquake. Two, the sun becomes black like sackcloth made of hair, and the moon will become as blood. Then the stars will fall from the sky, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when shaken by a mighty wind. That's a whole lot of figs coming down all at once. And then the sky is rolled up like a scroll and every mountain and island is moved from its place. That's a worldwide global nuclear exchange, folks. And those late figs all coming down at once is called a multiple independent re-entry vehicle. In other words, one... One missile going up into the atmosphere, crossing the hemisphere, 
and comes down, breaks apart into five warheads or seven warheads. Multiple independent, that's your late figs. Then it says the kings of the earth, the great and the rich, the chiefs and the captains, the mighty, will be hiding in the dens of the rocks of the mountains. And they will be calling out to God to say, Hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of God. They'll all know it's the wrath of God. That is why the gospel goes out to every nation, language, tribe, and people first. So that when this catastrophic worldwide event occurs, everyone's already heard the gospel and they're all on their face before God. And they say, For the great day of his wrath has come who is able to stand. Then... After this, I saw the four angels on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth, that wind should not blow on earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. That's the... When it's all over, there's no wind. I don't know how long that lasts, but there's going to be no wind. After Babylon the Great falls, that's when everybody will be saying, Who can make war with the beast? And it is the beast that rises out of the sea. And I'm talking about nuclear submarines rising out of the sea. Okay, let me just say it that way. And there's a second beast that rises out of the earth. That's all in Revelation chapter 13, verse 1 and 13, verse 11. And the one beast has feet like a bear. The bear is Russia. The dragon is China. And the feet like a bear means the Russian infantry. After that, people will be saying, who can make war with the beast? Then the mark of the beast will come out. That's Revelation 14, verse 9. And then there will be a great falling away, and the man of sin will be revealed. Then also at that time, Matthew chapter 24, they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Again, he says, Matthew 24, because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall grow cold. But he that endures to the end shall be saved. This gospel will be preached to all the world as a witness unto all men, then the end shall come. Then it talks about the abomination of desolation, standing in the holy place. Now, let me tell you something. The holy place of the United States of America is the White House. Just saying. That's like the most holy place for the USA. Then he says, let them flee to the mountains. The minute you saw Islam in the White House, you should have been selling your house and buying a piece of property in the mountains. Let him who is on his housetop not... Okay. Woe to them that have children... For then shall great tribulation, such, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. Wow. Had those, not, had those days not been shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days are shortened. Now, that is talking about the rapture. This is when the rapture happens. Because the rapture happens because of the elect. It's for the elect's sake that it happens. The days are shortened. And that cannot be the day when the Lord returns and rules and reigns from Jerusalem. Because on that day, those days are not being cut short for the sake of the elect. What I'm saying is, it is the rapture and the catching away that... that happens in the midst of all the trial and in the mid middle of the mark of the beast. You can read more of the Bible yourself. I encourage you to get your Bible out. So that's what we can expect to happen next. Battle on the Great Falls. The hour of God's judgment. Then a time of no wind. Then the mark of the beast comes out. Oh, I just... Listen. You don't have to believe me now. You don't have to believe me now. 
Call me in five years and tell me what you think. Just saying. Give me a call five years from now.